Thank you for bringing the boys by. Yeah. I really feel like the worst mother in the world for not being home with them. When Cameron asked me what I was doing here, I didn't even know how to answer. Well, your, your grandmother's taking good care of him, and I've even been trying to help out. I brought the boys over to Windermere yesterday to play with Spencer. Oh. Well, that, that's nice that you're spending time with Spencer. Yeah, well, I have to confess that Nanny watched him, too, for a little while. Mm -hmm. Of course. But uh, they, they seem to get along really well. The boys are transfixed on Spencer's train so sets. I asked you here. If you're laying the groundwork for us being a family, it's not a good idea. Although I appreciate your reservations, Liz, if this child happens to be mine, if I mean, this kind baby of this is yours, please don't think you and I will be together. Because we won't. You've made it abundantly clear that you don't want a relationship with me. I was just hoping to change your mind. Don't, don't pressure me. I'm not trying to pressure you, Liz. That's not my intention, but we both know that the baby is probably mine, and I'm not just going to bow out of my own child's life. I wouldn't ask you to. out from the cold. I was, I was terrified. Then you found out you were pregnant and went up to the hospital roof. You have no idea what was going through my mind when I saw you up there, Elizabeth. You needed me, so I told you that I forgave you. But you didn't mean it. You haven't forgiven me. You can't, can you? I'm sorry. We've gotten ourselves into a very bad place. I tried to get past it. But I, I can't. The damage is beyond repair. And it's time. We have to let go. It's time that we all face reality. So I have decided to take the paternity test. <laughs> 